Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be an air signs reading. That means that this reading is for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, if you are either one of those signs, then this may be a reading for you. Also, if you have Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius placements, there may be messages here for you as well. Okay, the reading may be yours. Okay, and what I say, why I say maybe is because the reading must resonate. If it is fluid, then it's for you. Do not force the reading, okay? Also, time is fluid. Anytime you press play, it's time for you to receive the messages. Energy is fluid, all right? So keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force the reading. If it's for you, it will flow, all right? So let's just get this stuff out of the way. All right, so let's get into it for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some of these cards are flipped around, guys. Give me a second, because I did this when I had the last reading, all right? Show me the messages for our air signs. Also, guys, if the reading resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. It lets me know you want to see more of these videos. It helps my channel grow, especially because I haven't been posting, because I haven't been well, and now I'm better. I, the algorithm thinks that I, I died. So please continue to support like, share, comment, and also subscribe, okay? I love to read the comments. Feel free to leave a comment for me, all right? So show me the messages for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, please. What do they need to see? This card is flipped over, so there must be a message here for you guys. Okay. Show me the more, please. Wow. I feel like somebody walked away from something. You know what? I'm getting more. Show me why the seven of cups is here. There's a choice in love. There's somebody here that can bring this connection, can, can bring you some balance, some peace. Because the lovers is here tell me there's a choice in love and you're trying to figure it out. The chariot's here, so. It's like you're holding back from someone because you're trying to figure out who it is that you want. If this hasn't happened yet, this is definitely a prediction. And it's because of something that was that, that came to the surface. Some Seven of Swords reverse is telling me that you found out something or you're going to find out something. Clarify this Seven of Swords reverse, please. Yeah, something happened in the connection that you was in. There was something, something bad happened, okay? And there was a negative phase based on whatever this deception, this, decep this deceit was that came out. All right. Um, I'm going to find out if, if it's you that has a choice in love or if it's someone else. And they're trying to choose between two different people. But the temperaments is here. Clarify the temperaments, please. You'll be connecting with Sagittarius. Wow, you see how that flew out over there? All right. So the spirit is saying that somebody lets go of some, a toxic connection they're in then there's someone here or let go of toxic behavior it will bring things back into balance with someone there's a lot of different energies here but i feel like there's an opportunity to be with someone else if you like oh if you let go of somebody that's toxic okay also the wheel of fortune reverse it can be also i'm getting energy of somebody resisting change so it's like there's an opportunity to be with another person but someone is staying in a bad situation after some really foul shit came out. So if this is your reading, you know what this is. You know what happened in your relationship. It could have been betrayal with another person. It could be something else that you found out. Deception could be in many ways. This is a collective. Um, but the chariot is telling me, is telling somebody to have the courage to move forward. To leave this. It's trying to get you to move forward from a toxic connection. Show me, I'm telling you these cards are flipped over. Show me the breakdown, look at this. This is not a mistake, this is not a swords. Somebody here, okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is stressed. Somebody has a lot of anxiety. They're being triggered by their person because they stayed in a situation they shouldn't. And I feel like it's very, there's a lot of trauma because of whatever this betrayal was. Um, somebody's feeling like it's hopeless. I feel like that's your energy. 
you feel like it's hopeless, but you're not willing to move forward. At the bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles. That's holding on to something. Something that, you know, you should be sacrificing is what I'm getting. This strong, um, your, your energy is here very strong. Um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Strong Gemini here. If you're a Gemini, there's, there's a message here for you. I'm also getting a Capricorn. Show me the breakdown here between the air signs and that person. Why is this Ace of Wands worse here? Clarify. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please, and be reversed. It's crazy. The, this cards will show you what they want you to know, not just what you ask. And the death reverse, again, resistant change, stuck in a bad situation that's that's decaying. And it's all it's doing is causing your delays from a new start. There's a wish fulfillment here. But it's going to require you to accept defeat. In order for you to get this wish fulfillment, you have to admit that this is it. This is like this. You, things can't get any worse than what they are with this person that you're still connecting to. It's like somebody's literally waiting on you, waiting for you. And you're resisting it because of this person. This person that you're still with. Even though they did you dirty, you're still with this person. Show me the breakdown, please. This person, I feel like, walked all over you. They walked all over you. With the Queen of Cups reverse, I'm getting this energy of um, codependency, like overgiven at the expense of your own emotional well being to someone. Yeah, this person's reckless too. They make impulsive, reckless decisions, Knight of Pentacles reverse, and you just gave, gave, gave. And you saw, this, no matter what, you was, it's like you were rewarding this bad behavior because you kept going. I feel like you felt like you thought you can love this person into loving you properly. So that's why you kept giving and giving and giving. Why is this on here? I'm telling you, if you walk away from this person, there's happiness. There's good karma. You'll get what you deserve if you walk away from this person and you deserve better than this person. Yeah, um, Ace of Cups reverse. This is an emotional loss. This is emotional blockage. The Ace of Cups in reverse is you needing to give yourself self-love. In, in reverse, the Ace of Cups reverse is also self-love. There's a need to you. If, you. if you see your worth and see that you deserve better, then you will get better. You will get the happiness that you deserve. But you're not getting it because you're holding yourself back from it. The bottom of the deck. Three of Swords reverse. There's a need for you to... Like, to be willing to recover from this, to release the pain from this painful situation that you're sitting in. I feel like for some of you family members and friends, they're quite aware and they're questioning you and you get frustrated and you get mad at them. You tell them to mind your business. There's going to be something coming in. Somebody wants to give you something. With the page of cups here, there's going to be some sort of happy surprise from someone. You don't see it. The high pieces reverse tells me that it's hitting from you. And it, of course, who sees a surprise, right? But there's a, there's going to be a surprise from you. You're going to get a message. You can get maybe a DM for some, some of you who have social media or some, some sort of gift. Someone's going to gift you something or send you a nice message. Someone you have an admirer, but it's hitting from you. And the reason why it's hitting from you because you can't make up your mind to a swords. You're trying to figure out what you want. You feel like this is a very difficult decision. You're weighing your options. Should I stay? Should I go? What benefit will I get? It's like, but the writing's on the wall. You really need to go. But this, the two of swords, is, it's like avoidance. It's an energy of avoidance after betrayal. So what is this person's intentions towards you? This person that you're in limbo with. What is their intentions? 
show me please for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Guys, if this is resonating, please leave your comments. What is this person's intentions? Clarify this queen of pentacles. They feel like you don't need them. That's how they're viewing you. But they they feel like it's sad that you don't see that you don't need them with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Because you're financially independent. You take care of yourself financially. It's like they see you as somebody that takes care of yourself financially, who's otherwise a very strong person. They feel that way. But they feel like... You're, you're, you're afraid to see your strength. Two of Wands reverse. Like, they feel like you're not going to leave. <laughs> like, they're like, you're not, you're not willing to risk it. You're not, they, they feel like you're not going to leave. You're not going to leave them. But they do view as somebody that's otherwise, you know, strong and passionate. Very, you know, very compassionate. The strength cards, she's, they see you as somebody who's very financially um, independent and compassionate but not willing, but they're like, you know, you are that way. And I feel like they don't tell you that, but they see that in you. They see you as somebody that's not willing to take risks and like you're your own worst enemy. So they, they take advantage of that. Yeah, they're reevaluating the situation. They're like, they feel disconnected from you. They can feel that you feel disconnected. They can feel that you don't look at them the same after what they did to you. They feel like you think about leaving, but you won't leave because you're afraid to leave them behind. That's what they feel. King of Cups Reverse is telling me this person is very emotionally manipulative. And they are because they know that you have these good qualities, but they're going to make you feel weak so that they can, so you, you don't want to leave. They're intentionally doing that. Wow, this is a terrible energy, guys. So show me your feelings. What are your feelings towards this person? Show me Aquarius, Gemini, Libra's feelings for this person. You are holding back. You're holding back. But I feel like you're holding back from leaving this person. The full reverse. And I'm getting bad choice. I'm hearing bad choices. It's a bad choice for you to hold back. You're holding back from taking a leap of faith to leave this person. But you are the impress. You deserve better. You're very nurturing, very loving. You have so much to offer. And look, if you see your worth, then look what you have waiting for you. A Knight of Cups, your mutual divine partner, someone who matches your effort, someone who's, who feels for you emotionally the same. But it's like it's you're not in alignment with this person because you're holding back from taking a leap of faith and moving forward and letting this person go. So if this is your reading, you're like, yes, I am having a problem letting this person go. So ask yourself instead of, because I, I get the energy of I love this person, but I love this person, but I love this person. Ask yourself, do you feel loved by this person? That is the question you should be asking yourself. Do you feel loved by them? Because I have a tower moment. Something shocking and traumatic happened. Am I right, guys? Drop it in the comments. Something happened that destroyed this connection, yet you're still holding on. It caught you off guard, whatever it is. Again, this is a collective with three different signs. So it could be a number of things that took place. All right. But whatever it is, it destroyed the foundation. Like you can't build off of something that's not stable and it's not stable anymore. You know that. <laughs> the opposite of stable, reckless behavior. So I'm not a physical reverse. This person... This person may have money problems. And then I'm also getting out of Pentacles reverses someone who they fake their success. They make things seem better than what it is. I feel like your person, like they're focused on material things, what things look like on the outside, impressing people, but not really caring what they do within a relationship. And that's the problem. It's like they fake to everyone that you guys are doing well. 
And you know that. And I feel like you do it too. I feel like this Nine of Pentacles reverses your energy. You tell your family and friends that things are good between you two and it's not. And it hasn't been good since that tower moment. Yeah. There's a need for you to let this go. You're carrying too much. Nine of Wands reversed. It's time to let this person go. Once you do, I'm telling you, fire energy, there's a King of Wands here. There's somebody here that's waiting for you. This person, this person knows what they want. They come in knowing what they want. There is no games. This is this could be an entrepreneur or somebody who's very career focused. Um, but this person has their shit together. Okay, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it could be any sign. But this person, you know. They're waiting on you. They're not going to play games and they're stable. But you have to let this person go in order to, to receive this person. So what advice do we have? Even though I just told you. Eight of Cups. It's time for you to walk away from this. You're holding back. Eight of Wands reverse. You're holding back. You're holding back from leaving this person. 8-8 eight, eight can be significant. The year 88 or August 8th can be significant. Show me advice. Oh, there it is. A lot of times when I ask for advice, the cards will show me the situation. And what I'm getting is you, you want to stay with this person because you guys have so much, so many memories. You, some of you may even have a child or children together or may have known each other from childhood. Take it as it resonates. Or it's just like, this feels so familiar. So it's because it feels familiar, you want to stay because you've made a lot of memories. You created a life with this person. But I feel like they destroyed that. Six of, clarify the Six of Pentacles. I feel like they destroyed that. Meanwhile, there's somebody else here. The Eight of Wands came out upright this time. Someone's going to take action. They're going to come in. This is someone that, you know, they show up for you the way you show up for them. This is someone that's going to value you. And I'm telling you, there's going to be messages. There's going to be a lot of messages between you and this new person. How will Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra recognize this new person? It could be at a party. You got to get out. It's going to be some sort of celebration. When you, where you'll meet this person, a lot of you, okay? It could be like a get-together at a family's house, a friend's house, whatever. But you're going to be out. There's, this, these are going to be happy times. And you're not going to... There's not going to be anything to figure out. This came out sideways. I only read uprights and reversals. Show me one more. Clarify this, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's hidden from you because right now you're just staying in a situation with somebody you don't trust that keep that's keeping secrets and you're just trying to avoid drama from them. So you like um, I'm just you just riding it out. You're just going with the flow. You just instead of making things happen, you let things happen. So this is again, this is not going to happen until you move on. When you get the clarity that you need to say, when you finally get that breakthrough, like, what the hell am I doing? And you decide to make a conscious decision, there's going to be a breakthrough. And I'm telling you, this person, you're going to meet them while you're out around other people. It could be through a friend. For some of you, I'm getting through a friend. Yeah, this is going to be successful. Whatever this is, this is exactly what you're looking for. This is exactly what you're looking for. But the problem is now is that you're sitting in a situation that's shitty with someone that you don't even trust. It's like you guys don't even discuss your problems. You disagree to disagree. And it's it's just repressing them. Yeah, the star reverse. This is a hopeless situation. When you recognize that and you move forward, there's new love for you. Okay? You could be connecting with um, another Aquarius. All right, or if you're an Aquarius viewing it, that's the message for you. It's time to let this go. All right, so before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the universe. It's like you're standing in your own way. Like, you, you stay, you're staying way past the point you should have. You should have been gone. No matter what this was, whatever this was, this betrayal, this trauma, this rock bottom moment, that was supposed to be it. That was supposed to be it, guys. 
Show me the messages, please, for my air signs. You will soon be surprised and grateful for how everything happened the way it did, for you will receive better and greater. It is all adding up in your favor. Trust the process and how things are unfolding for you. See? You just got to have faith and trust the process. There's better coming, but you got to go towards it. That's why it says eight of cups. You got to abandon this situation. It's toxic. This person has not changed. They're still manipulating. They seem very narcissistic. It's never too late to start over. I just heard gaslighting. I just heard gaslighting. This person has been gaslighting you. It's never too late to start over. You have to trust in the magic of new beginnings. They are waiting for you. I've been saying this through the whole reading. Notice them, seize them, and appreciate all that you have. Just relax and trust. Again, that's about having faith. Having faith. Believing and knowing that you deserve better than what you're settling for. One day when you least expect it, you are going to crash into someone who's going to be so soft and gentle with your heart and you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. Did I not just say that? Have I not been saying that, guys? Spirit is telling me to pull one more, please. The journey wasn't the smoothest or the most pleasant lately, but everything has come together. Your patience, strength, and perseverance will soon be rewarded. The weight is almost over, hold on. This is about manifestation, guys, okay? So as long as you're patient, strong, and you continue to persevere, you're gonna be rewarded with new love. I love this for you, I really do. So those are the messages that I have for you guys. Um, if the reading resonated, please let me know. If you're interested in a personal reading, you may click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.